a tēnā tātou nō Ngāti Hinemehi, nō Ngāti Tarawhai, nō Tūhurungi hau, ko hana tapiata. Tuku inoa. It's really hard to describe how Mātauranga Māori, how Whakapapas influenced my life because it's the only life I know. It's normal, it's the same way that I know my name. Uh, I Pakeke mai te kohanga reo, te kura kaupapa Māori. I worked for my iwi learning about our own pūrāko, karakia, taonga, tukuiho as a way to set up a framework for how to live well or to aspire to do different things. Taonga, tukuiho and pūrāko, or our mātauranga, have a huge role to play if we can interpret them well, or if we relearn how to interpret our mātauranga and those pūrāko to apply to a modern context. There are kurahuna, kurafākina, a taonga, and just bounds of wisdom imbued into different uh, stories, different applications and different interactions between atua that make simple what's happening in the taio today. Uh, like in Te Waiariki, in the Putawaki region, or Echikim, um, in 2017 they had the major floods there because that whenua used to be Wananui Te Repo, or wetlands, which act as the filtration system uh, for that takiwa. And when she's removed from there, para whenua mea has no place to go and no one to guide her on her way out to Kiwa or to the Moana. And so all along her journey, her parents have guided her when she first uh, springs up from the earth. Uh, ko Hinetu Parimaunga, ko Tāne Era, Katahi ko Rakahore, uh, so the river rocks and the river banks guiding her even more. And in that particular rohe, she's supposed to meet Wananui Te Rupo or Hinenui Te Rupo, uh, but that's been removed and replaced with farmlands. And so when Te Ihorangi rains, um, para whenua mea swells and she's got no uh, one to help her regulate, if we want to personify what might be happening, uh, no one to comfort and guide and filter out uh, how she's behaving in that state. And so that's all in Pūrāko, or well, that's just straight whakapapa. Uh, kei reira ngā taonga uh, mā tātua. So I've been researching Atua Wahine to feed back into the Puna Mātauranga that I've been so fortunate to uh, drink from, bathe from, everything from is because of that, or everything I am now is because of the Mātauranga that I've been able to um, have access to and learn and interrogate for myself. And in learning that there are 70 or so Atua Tāni and that everything in Te Ao Māori is about balance or reinstating balance. Tapu noa, uh, papatūnuku, ranginui, uh, e rāhuatanga. Following that logic also means that there are 70 or more atua wahine. And I was really embarrassed that I only knew uh, about 10 to 15 of them, maybe three quite well, and even then, uh, papatūnuku, uh, mahuika, and I'll say if those were the main two, they're really passive characters or they're not portrayed the way that we hear wahine being portrayed in our tupuna's time. And so following on from the taonga that uh, Fire Aroha Yed Smith, Dr Ngahuia Murphy and many others have pulled together and other people as well and other hapu and iwi um, has just been trying to build that and give back to that puna as well, which has been really healing for me, really empowering and exciting as well. One of the ways we could ensure the safety of our mātauranga, according to Hana, according to me, is that just keeping in mind that our mātauranga is dynamic. It's meant to evolve with the time, the mātauranga that our tūpuna had in Hawaii. Uh, when they arrived here, had to innovate because some plants didn't survive when they tried to grow them here. Uh, the atua behaved differently. Uh, we've got the kōrero of Ngātoroirangi going to Tongariro 
um, and having to call on his sisters to send the fire to Ahitapu, to Ahukomo, i Hawaiki to uh, revive him I and mean, keep him warm because the atua and the landscape here are different. And so uh, growing our mātauranga using the context of Taonga Tukuiho, so not straying too far to use different atua in different contexts when they really don't belong because um, those kōrero are there intentionally. Hineahuone, a woman, was the first uh, of tira tangata to be created, not a male. So, you know, that's intentional, I believe. Um, the different characters in the stories, the Maui kōrero, uh, all of those are intentional. And if we take those and adapt them to what our environment's doing now, if we uh, collaborate, because it's another aspect of uh, atua and of te taio, there's not just one atua, uh, even in Kumara, you know, there is over 20 uh, different atua that play a role in the Kumara coming into being. So collaborating, uh, putting those spiritual measures in place because the kōrero, the mātauranga is spiritual first and then how it is expressed physically. Um, you know, mai te kore ki te pō ki te ao marama. that's probably the last in the sequence, but if we get those first things right, put different policies or um, data governance structures and data sovereignty, those kinds of things in place from a whakapapa lens, e ka pai ai tō tātou, ko ke whakamua. <laughs>